bertemu kembali. Keadaan ekonomi semasa telah mendesak para pemimpin perniagaan untuk memastikan diri mereka sealiran dengan trend semasa. Dan dalam membantu pihak pengurusan tahap C untuk bersedia menempuh keadaan semasa dan mengatasi cabaran, Cranfield University bersama-sama dengan pembekal penyelesaian modal Insta Malaysia, Kepintar akan menjadi tuan rumah program Ketua Pegawai Eksekutif Global yang bakal berlangsung pada Jun ini. Dan bagi membincangkannya dengan lebih lanjut, bersama kita di studio adalah Encik R.A. Tiaga Raja, pengarah urusan Kepintar. Selamat datang, Encik Tiaga Raja. So, we, we, we uh, talk and discuss about the sea levels. All right. All right. Um, what are the challenges that Malaysian uh, sea levels are facing in this generation? All right. Talk about sea level face ch challenges faced by sea level leaders in Malaysia and globally mm -hmm. is a, more or less very much similar, but only different in terms of cultural issues. Uh, based on studies done by Monash University 2013 survey, as well as 16 PwC annual global survey, have found that, that there are eight most important challenges are faced by sea level leaders. Eight at of the them. Moment. Eight. The first is enhancing efficiency. How to improve the uh, employee and the process e efficiency is one of the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. Followed by managing human resources. The talent mobility became an issue. Getting the right talent to run the organization became yes. another issue. Number three, rising customer expectation. Customers are becoming more complex. They are demanding a lot more from their vendors, the providers. The understanding customer itself another big challenge. Number four, customer retention and loyalty. How to retain our existing customers? Mm -hmm. How to make sure they are very loyal to our product and services? This is another bigger challenge. Number fifth, global economy uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Things are constantly changing. The competition is changing, technology is changing. It's becoming very uncertain to predict any business decision. Number six, new product development. Customers are continuously expecting new, new product launch. Yes. What are the new services you can offer to, exactly. to fulfill my needs? Mm -hmm. Number seven, rising sharp uh, shareholders' expectation. Mm -hmm. Shareholders are expecting better return, better growth, top line, either the bottom line. Mm -hmm. On the, the last is acquiring funds for investment. The growing organization continuously seek for a funding. You need to get the investors to come in to grow their product and services. These mm -hmm. are the main eight challenges largely faced by current sea level leaders mm -hmm. in Malaysia as well across the globe. Despite the eight challenges, probably, right. how do you see Malaysian business leaders compared to other, I mean like outside and um, to those overseas? All right. Compared to uh, Malaysian uh, sea level leaders compared to uh, others in the Western world, if you come a Western or developed nation, yep. uh, in terms of challenges, I would say similar in nature, mm -hmm. but in terms of cultural diversity, the working culture, and diversity which is available in Malaysia is totally different. So we need to uh, manage the diversity of the people, the diversity of the culture, and uh, the work ethic as well, the uh, skill set of the Malaysian talent is different than the Western world. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, in terms of uh, technology, the Western world have more developed technology, advanced technology, and the, the economy is very matured economy, yep. so they have done that, done that before. They have a lot of experience. They've mm -hmm. done that, they have faced the challenges much uh, earlier than us. So compared to Malaysian sea level leaders, they know the challenges, they're able to smell what are the f future challenges going to be. Compared to Malaysian sea, uh, sea level leaders, we are growing, we are fast growing. So we may need to equip ourselves with the more uh, leadership qualities, leadership skills, business acumen, to move forward. These are the, I would say, major differences. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, our business leaders are equally competent, and a lot of local companies are going global. There's a lot of successful Malaysian companies in this region as well across the globe. We know that the sea levels also uh, make this, um, their businesses uh, run smoothly, and they even train all the under their, um, <coughs> what you call the staff. And, and, um, and what do you think? How important it is uh, for sea level to be trained, actually, Mr. Tiaga? All right. Uh, it is very vital uh, to get the sea level to be equipped with the new knowledge and skills because uh, regardless Western world or Malaysia, the key objective of the sea level leaders to, main to make ensure the business continuously grow. Mm -hmm. In order to that, they must be able to uh, see issues clearly, the mm -hmm. challenges clearly. So they need to equip themselves with uh, a lot of knowledge, what are the new trends, new ideas, new strategies, how can I manage, the, we call it UCA world. The, the, the economy is so volatile, mm -hmm. the economy is so uncertain, yep. work is so complex, and it's very ambiguous. We, we do not have the clarity of what's happening in the market. 
Mm -hmm. And just to add on, to, there are studies done by Stanford University Graduate Business School, uh, 2013 Executive Coaching Survey, say that 66% of the CEOs do not receive any coaching or training. And proper training, proper coaching. training, coaching. And when they ask, would you be interested to attend any coaching or uh, leadership uh, development program? What would be the answer? 100% of them say yes, certainly we would, because it's going to benefit uh, their business. Right. And look, look at the local context. Monash University have done a survey as well. Yes. And they found that 93% of the CEO uh, said greater focus must be given into executive education and training mm -hmm. to ensure sustainability and the growth of the business. Despite from all the studies that have been um, done for so far, right. um, how will Cape Inter's um, training program help uh, to develop the Malaysian sea leaders? Right. So, Cape Inter has been a business for the last 12 years, and Cape Inter is a Minister of Human Resource award winning uh, training provider in Malaysia. So, what we look at, uh, we would like to, a uh, Malaysian business is growing, the mm -hmm. region is growing. All right, we see a lot of foreign companies investing in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So we were Malaysian companies also going abroad. Right? We realize it's important to equip uh, business leaders with the relevant competency, mm -hmm. relevant skill set, the business equipment. So we partner with uh, top 20 business school in the world yeah. called Cranfield University, which is entirely postgraduate, post-experience university. Mm -hmm. So they have experience working with C-level leaders in 120 countries in various industries. Our objective is as a part of the nation building initiative, we bring C-level leaders to go to UK, mm -hmm. Cranfield University, to learn new things. I Same understand that the program is going to um, be conducted um, in, in June. In June, 15 to 21st June in Cranfield University, mm -hmm. uh, 2014. 25 of the yeah. um, Asian. Asian, Southeast Asian Southeast leaders. Asian. Asian leaders thank leaders. you, thank you very much, uh, JRA Tiagaraja Pengarah Urusan Kepintar kerana bersama-sama kami pada hari ini. Thank you right. for your time. Thank you. Um, kita pun kesusukan masa yang kita perlu mungkin akan bincangkan lebih lanjut pada masa akan datang. Terima kasih okay, kerana masa. Terima kasih. Uh, Tuan untuk setakat ini dan anda jangan ke mana-mana. Bisnes awak ini akan kembali sekali lagi.